Hey, what's up, everybody? So, if you watched my collector box opening yesterday, uh, to kind of start my first look at this, the I found it incredibly interesting, the mythic pull rate, with the way they designed these collector boxes, with essentially the core Outlaws of Thunder Junction set, and then the big score set jammed in, and then with its uh, supplementary uh, set, whatever you want to call them, the, the newspaper uh, treatments, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> one thing right off the bat was we only got four Mythics from the actual Outlaws of Thunder Junction set. If this is how this is all going to go, the market is, is going to be a little more shallow of any particular Mythic, which means that Mythics are going to carry a greater premium if that ends up being the case. It's a fascinating setup, and I want to see how a play box does. I would do it anyway, but I, I'm doubly intrigued, where I wasn't intrigued with Mirza Carla Manor. I'm doubly intrigued to see how this is going to do uh, because of that development with those collector boxes. So this is still kind of my first look at the product. I'm filming this almost immediately after the collector box that aired officially yesterday. So, I don't know all the cards in the set. Um, it's going to be kind of a Japanese printed also. Okay. All right. Time to rip wrappers. Here we go. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for just really an assortment of cards. All right. I'm looking for, in the end, I kind of hope to have most of a set. So where is everything going to be inside of here? It is going to be in the front. Okay. Oh, so it's, okay, Unlicensed Hearse, which makes sense actually for this product and is not a terrible little reprint, although the card has is not worth nearly what it was worth. One last job. Actually, that can go, I don't know, right there. Um, I'm a fan. I think these spree cards are neat. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too long on commons and uncommons, or any time, that is. <laughs> yeah. Barons, giant beaver, back for more, so you're going to get one per in the prosperity slot. Ariette, I don't know if Ariette's going to be a hit, but you know, let's do this. But I like it. I think she's going to be a killer card. Okay, so we got two foils. We got a foil, one of the, the new, uh, what do you want to call them? What are we going to call these? Are we going to call these crime lands? <laughs> Desert crime lands? Griff? Tornado? Okay. And Riku. This is a uh, already looking awful lot like my collector box, which is kind of what I hope doesn't happen. Because I would like different cards. Anyway, <clears throat> Outlaws Fury, Tyrants Scorn, and Loot. So you can get the big score cards in this particular product. I didn't know about that. I didn't know how they were going to handle that. Slick Shot Show Off. This card might be a thing. I'm still amazed how many people seemingly out there got really mad about loot. It's, it's, it's interesting to me. Folks, they jumped the shark on the story a long time ago. Hindering, hindering light. Laughing Jasper Flint, Lizard Rogue. He looks, he looks horrifying. Okay, I don't know if that's a hit. Can't put everything on top. I haven't read all these cards yet, so... Laughing Jasper Flint. I do enjoy the name. Like there's some, there's some names that are actually kind of cool. They, they, I, I feel like they had some fun with this set in the in the creation. Fling. What's double down? When are you cast an outlaw spell? Copy that spell enchantment for four. Holy crap! Seriously? Good. Wow. Okay. Um, that seems that seems good. That seems. 
obviously specific. Jolene, Jolene. Okay. But those those are those are creature types that have been around. <laughs> Card seems nuts. All right. Highway robbery, villainous wealth. Ah, Rush of Dread. That is a good one. Chrome? What's he doing there? Oh, he probably came with Giralf. <laughs> what is everybody doing here? I know, they're looking for that guy. Who, whoever that guy is. Then they go to Bloomberg. How does that work? Fake your own death. Decisive denial. And millions of breaches. Breaches for me. Wait a minute. Why did I, why did I think this card was in Modern Horizons? Okay. Probably because it feels like a modern card. <laughs> All right, we got Leyline, yeah. So, I don't, I don't know why this is. I, I'm getting some of the same exact stuff I got out of my collector box. And, and I'll admit to you, I find that annoying. I, it's nobody's fault. It's just the way, you know, things go sometimes. It's like, I... Tumbleweg. I don't need... I don't need our label line binding. Although, it's not a bad pull. So, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be like this. Why are you like this? All right. Slinger... Primal Command, or maybe uh, there's just only so many on the sheet, and you're gonna get tons of duplications similar to uh, similar to what they did with the Enchanted Tales, which was kind of funny. Like for a while there, you could get like Unnatural Growth is one that quickly comes to mind. Like that thing shot under a dollar quickly. It's been it's been recovering, but it just became so easy to pull. Journey to Nowhere, ah, cool. The unrepentant <laughs> possum. All right, start the first row. I have no idea if we're doing good or bad. I'm glad I got a rush of dread. I want Annie joins up. Bruise Tarl. Okay. Oxen, eh, too specific. Let's. So we got Jace reawakened. When I first saw this, I was like, wait a minute, is he like still kind of Phyrexian? No, I guess like he was pretending to be Ashiok or something. Is that, that what the story was? Which then in that artwork makes a little bit more sense. But at first I was like, how is he still Phyrexian and they're not Phyrexian? I thought Phyrexians were gone. Until some point where Yogmoth randomly shows up again. Which will happen at some point. Voidrend. Memory Vessel. Okay. Got one of those in the collector box that was ahead. Malcolm. Sandstorm Verge. I'm going to have to read all these deserts. Hmm. What's this? Heartless Pillage. Marchesa. All right. I'm going to speed it up because I'm tired of opening the same as that cards again. I feel like that's what I'm heading to. Yeah, hopefully the mythics from here are different and whatever. Fell the Mighty. Okay. Stinger Back Terror Scorpion Drago. Uh, yeah, it's a good casting cost for what it... It's just an effective creature. Okay, I got it. We'll be really good and limited. 
super good in limited. Actually, that card's probably going to be an absolute monster in limited, isn't it? Geyser Drake, Journey to Nowhere, Hellspur, Posse Boss. Other outlaws you control have haste. Huh? Not bad. So many ad cards. Gold Vein Hydra. This is a cool card. And that's a foil. Neat. Commandeer. Bonnie Paul. That Bonnie Paul card is a quintessential cynic. like they made the car and they knew they were going to make it Simic. They're like, what do we have this thing do? And then we just looked at each other like Simic stuff. Okay, we got Repulse. Railway Brawler. Who are you? Okay, reach Trample. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield near your control, put it whatever X is its power? Dang! Wait a minute. I think I immediately need like three copies of this card. That thing seems awesome. Okay. That's a that's a cool pull. It's especially a cool pull for me. I will I will make use of that card. Gold pan. Ride down. Hey, she's a alright. I'm I'm glad I'm getting a bunch of different mythics. That's cool at least. Skeletons and zombies. And whenever you commit a crime, and of course in a black token deck, seems like the easiest thing to do on Earth is to <laughs> kill stuff and deal damage to your opponents and trigger committing a crime. <laughs> Only triggers once per turn. That's good, because otherwise that would be insane. Tiny Bones joins up. So my first joins up card. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under my control, okay, mill a card and lose life. Eh. Eh, it's not bad. Oh, pests are back. That's fun. Okay, the sizzle. What are you? Oh, special... Oh, I did not get a special guest out of my collector box. I forgot they exist. Stoneforge with a really sweet new artwork. Neat. Okay. Roxanne, who are you? Who are you, Roxanne? You're new. Read that later so it does something with meteorites, which also weirdly feels. What is Lazav? Everybody's here. Lazav's there. Stoneforge. Cool. I forgot who else was on this special guest. See, it's kind of fun going into this stuff when you haven't done all the research in the world. Dust Bowl. Oh, cool. That's a neat reprint. And Smuggler's Surprise. Dig it. So, the, while well, the special guest officially has a mythic emblem, but they're also not one per box, similar to Murders of Carlisle Manor when they've toned down their pull rates. I uh, haven't seen anything off the list yet. Is there list cards? Murder. Oh, cool. Esoteric Duplicator. That sweet. All right. Key to the Vault. Hadn't seen that one yet. Seems like a decent card. Oh, yeah. Do, do these have list cards? Do they still have the list? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Wait, what's OTP? So OTJ is Outlaws of Thunder Junction. What's OTP? OTC is Commander. That's big score. So that's OTP. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, looks like no list card. Did they do away with the list? In favor of special guest. Clear shot. Hey, Borderless Inspiring Vantage. I did not get any. So I said this in my collector video. I think pull rates of any individual card is going to be crazy low. Having said that, it seems like the regular rare, I guess you can call them legendaries, is going to be the easy ones to get. But everything else is going to have a dropped drop rate. That So far in my short sample size, that, that very much proves to be true. Which means these things will not remain on top after this video probably. But almost everything else will. Um, that's cool. All right, Spire Advantage in the in the borderless. That's that's not bad. Outcaster Trailblazer. I do like cards that allow me to draw cards when I do things. And whenever it enters the battlefield, you add one mana of any color, because then you get to plot it. It's kind of a neat card. Okay, this is my first look through. Um, I'm not going incredibly slow, but I do go a little slower. We're not speed running this. I'm really trying to get to know the product and I'm really trying to showcase what it is that you're gonna buy, right? So there's nothing more annoying than trying to buy a product and having no idea what, what is possible or what is expected. Um, you may have good boxes and boxes and bad boxes, right? I've said that a million times, Lord knows, on this channel. Because some people have called this out before of like, whenever I post a bad box, they're like, why would you even air this? Because I'm showcasing the reality. Not every box is good. I've opened my fair share of bangers and I've opened my fair share of devastating losses. It's how it goes, right? And you have to, you have to know that both exist. Otherwise, don't open a box, frankly. So it's good to kind of see how I should be devil. Okay. Playable card, as always. I don't think Bedevil is even a few bucks anymore, but still. You could do worse. That is a lot of words. <laughs> will... Hey, another Lava Spur Boots. Great. Uh, there was some conversation I was involved in with the Lava Spur, because at first people were freaking out about it. Which is why I thought it was in Modern Horizons 3. So they're like, oh, this is like about our boots. And then other people were like, no, it's way worse boots. I'm like, no, it's situational. Um... Plus one, plus zero oh, in haste on an attacker? That's not bad, right? Um, it's not bad at all, especially for only one to put out. That's a pretty good card, actually. Yeah, it gives it ward one, which which nowadays is just like a little tax. But it's still ward one. <clears throat> still makes somebody have to reconsider before they do something. In the meantime, I'm already attacking. It's not a bad card at all. Terminal Agony... Harvester of Misery. When it enters the battlefield, other creatures, so even ones that you own, get negative two, negative two. And discard it. Oh, that card kind of sucks. Okay. Yes! He's another one I wanted a whole bunch of. I can't remember these things. Comball, Profiteering Mayor. He's going right into a deck right after this. Do not stop at go. Do not, or definitely collect your $200. <laughs> Keep going. At knife points. Oops. Stupid token. All right. Fling. Sandstorm Salvager. So are these all, myth yeah. So I'm assuming all the big score cards are mythic, aren't they? Wow, getting certain big score cards is going to be tough to get. That's fascinating. Way tougher than had they put that into a single product with like 60 cards. So actually they almost made them better pulls. All of the Thunder Junction, folks, is an exercise in interesting marketing. Okay. So create a golem on each creature token you control. And then they gain trample. Not bad. Rakdos the Muscle. I am glad I'm getting a nice selection of mythics here. Besides, besides even the count of them, just getting different ones, it's awesome. So, so far, well, other than the mythics from this, I haven't gotten any mythics from that. So I assume you get probably get one mythic per box of the, the newspaper treatment thing. But I've gotten more mythics out of this otherwise than out of my collector box. 
Huh. I wonder. I'm just, it's a hypothetical. This is one box. It's one small sample size. And Stoneform Mitchick kind of doesn't count. It's on its own. Um, I wonder if they kind of beefed up the play boxes a little bit because of how badly they sold without, I'm sorry, with uh, Murders of Call of Minner. Vadim, or Vadmir. Electro Dominance. Cool. Okay. Not a, not a hit, but still cool. High Noon. Savage Smash. There we go. This box is this box is doing work. And he joins up. Just so you know, I I may have pre-bought some of these at three bucks each, and I do not think they're going to stay at three bucks each. I could be wrong. That's not financial advice in any way, shape, or form. That's my own personal opinion that I think this is a seven to ten dollar card in this set. So. I am placing my bet on getting them for a better deal than they will be. And frankly, I need some copies of it. Murder. Colossal rattle worm. Okay. Yeah, who cares? Gold rush. So yeah, interesting stuff. So they did away with the list. Um, they're still going with the the um, special guest slot that's more limited, which I think is probably not a bad idea. Pitiless Carnage. Sacrifice any number of permanents you control and then draw that many cards? Hi. And I get to plot you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That sounds good. Sounds great. And you're in the right color. Great. This is, this is fun. This is way more fun than Murders of Carlisle Manor. Essence Capture. Care of X seems pretty good. Again, I don't know what's going to hold value yet and what's not. So we will see. Meteorite to go with uh, that whole new thing. What does it do anyway? Enters the battlefield, deals two damage to any target, and then it's a mana rock. Oh, neat. Okay. Cool. Huh. Collective Defiance. So I have not pulled a Mythic. Have I? I don't think so. Oh, I sure did. Yep. I sure did. Leyline Binding is a mythic in this print sheet. If I just, if I'm being, if I'm being honest for a second, I'll admit I don't love this. It goes with the theme, and and I get that, and I otherwise have no problem about it. And this is probably gonna be the only time I'm probably gonna say that because it, it does sweet <laughs> the sword of wealth and power, awesome. And the Kid Rock Monster! Yeah! Other other than getting... I'm getting everything I want. Except for, well, some of the, the spree cards. But getting everything else I want. This box is great! This is perfect! <laughs> I don't even know if it's a good box. It doesn't matter. I'm getting a bunch of things I want. Grindstone! Great! Good! So, that's... Magda. Um, this is a way too soon comment to make. Play boxes in this set are better than collector boxes. Way too soon comment. Humiliate. Insatiable Avarice. Seems cool. And another spree card. Although I'm really kind of looking for the instant speed ones. But last pack. I am... Uh, I'm thrilled. 
I'm very thrilled. Okay, what can we get in the last pack here? Pyromancers. Thornado. And Botanical Sanctum! Because uh, we only, yeah, we didn't get any other other lands until now. Good. I mean, I, I'll admit, so I, I considered building her, but it seems like the world is considering building her, and so I'm going to not do it. Um, having said that, I can instantly identify at least one deck that this is going to slot into in the 99. And it will do a lot of work. Very, very pleased about that. Cool. Ow, that was wild. Okay. I got way more stuff. <laughs> and at first, it's like, like part of the collector box charm is that theoretically more rares than mythics, right? And, and in Murders of Karlov Manor, frankly, the play boxes were. Eh, they only felt like a slight upgrade over uh, traditional draft boxes, and they weren't great. This isn't at all what you even remotely looked at in Murders of Karloff Manor play boxes. Right now, I feel like they overcorrected. I truly feel like they overcorrected. And I don't even know if these are bulk or not mythics, right? It's just things that were not as interesting to me. Um, don't call attention to me right away. They, they overcorrected the play boxes because they're still expecting, you know, with play boxes taking the place of both set and draft they gotta sell a lot of play boxes like they're gonna sell collector deck. The, the collectors will do fine they'll, they'll even if they don't blow it up like an ixalan they'll do fine but they gotta sell play boxes and they gotta sell a lot of play boxes to make up for the fact that they would have sold a lot of set boxes and sold a decent number of draft boxes so they have to sell these like crazy so looking at this in a nutshell right now this was worth the price increase Easily. Easily. Whereas in Murders of Karloff Manor, it was not worth it at all. It was frustrating. Um, that's why now you can get one for $100, tons of places, because that's, frankly, that's what they're worth, worth the draft box cost. Because they were only slightly better than a draft box. They, were, they weren't really even set box quality. This feels like it was sex box quality, but with... <laughs> but with the draft pack quantity, which is what it's supposed to be. That's the way they priced it. They priced it like you're paying for 36 set packs. That's, that's the way they priced these. So it means you have to give us that. It still has to feel like set packs in terms of just the sheer quantity of things you get. It's been a while since I've actually been over the moon with something I've opened, and I'm feeling that right now. So that's got some neat cards. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna read cards and think about things to do with these cards. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for sticking with me on a 28-minute-long play box video. I hope in the end that I do get the opportunity to give people an idea. This might have been high. I'm gonna do another one. Um, this might have been high. Obviously, take out the Stoneforge Mystic. That's still like one in every like two to three boxes. So that's that's its own own pool. Um, Pretty good. Appreciate y'all. Bye.